and we are live guys give me some ones in the chat if you can hear me if you can see my screen as well okay uh, who's here who's here who's here let me create a poll as well so Let's open Visual Studio first of all. Let me exit this whole project. So I have this. Let's create a new folder. So I'll have a, a folder like this. Bam, bam. I'll make this bigger. And we'll do again a design from Dribble today. Guys, who's here? Who's in the chat? Start a poll as well. Um, comment. Comment T. Hello, Ron. What's up? Ron, Rom and Whiskey. Nice. Have Muhammad Feihao. Hello, hello, hello. Comment. Where is it? T. If you are new to the stream. Let me type OK. OK. And I'll do it again. OK, I'll post this one as well. Which one uh, should I learn first, Java or JavaScript? <laughs> For what? Oh, Kapoi, what's up, Kapoi? For web development or JavaScript? You don't know to know Java uh, for you to learn JavaScript, you know, so. Hey dude, hello, hello. Isan. Let me open Dribble as well, guys. I'll go to Dribble. Dribble. Not waste time. No. Bam. 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 Hello, dude. Hello, hello. You should learn a symbol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, love, yeah. Yep. Go learn a symbol. Try to do like uh, try to, try to like uh, how do you call this? Subtract two numbers or something like that. You'll have a lot of headaches. Uh, do you know there is Chat GPT program? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> NFT marketplace, okay. This one looks cool. Let me save this. Maybe you can find the background image on this. So save. Search image chrome dun, dun, dun. lol you guys chill i already know java okay lol guys chill i already know java okay come with proof yeah if you know java Go, oh, okay, stay focused. <clears throat> no, not this one. Search by image. Image Google computer. Really? Maybe I can find this. Let's see. No. 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 Let's see. No. 
Come on. Behance. Let's see this one on Behance. I'm just new to web development. Okay. Ooh, this one. But where where do I get this background? Let me save this image as well. And let's search with this one as well. It's taking some time. Kapoy. Who else is in the chat, guys? Let me minimize this or... Yeah. Can I get the font on an image? Let's see. So what font? Yeah, I can get the font. What? Nice. That's impressive. Not gonna lie. That's impressive. So has growth. I'll use this one, so let me copy this. Hello, Gusdev. Hello, Maya. Hello, hello. Wait, how do I... Okay. Has growth. Okay, let me search this one. <coughs> it's has growth text our web font. Mm -hmm. FF no. It doesn't look that good, you know. Melee provides okay, italic, no, it does not look good. I have to go find the uh, NAS, okay. It's not the same one, you know, so. Are they the same font? Because I don't think so. See, where's the C? They don't have a scene here. What collect? I mean, it's definitely not the same. It's a uh, visual studio, it's puffing barely. What do you mean? What extension is that? It's called what font, this one. Mm -hmm. Stay focused, yeah. It's puffing a little bit. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Zoom. Yeah, I've said I'm gonna look for this image as well. Let's see if we can find the background image with this. HTML, there's no way, there's no way I downloaded the whole website. I've right click on this and I downloaded the whole website. Save as, no. Save as, web page complete. Inspect. Okay, finally. So let me save this image. Save. Now let's search with this image as well. Bam. Please have a background image. Not the whole website. No. I want just 
this head. Let's see. Okay, so this is like a... Okay. <laughs> they stole this. They stole it. Let me find this image again. And they put like a, a nice background behind it, you see? So this one is taken from Spotify. And then they put a, a background behind it. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Uh, have you been programming for a long time, like a year? Uh, yo, Yasin, what's up, dude? You have Yao, stay focused. Uh, my Tinky, Muhammad, Kapoi, Guillermo. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream, by the way. I look for on uh, Behance for like NFT or something like that. Behance. What even is Behance? Uh, I look NFT. NFT. Oh yeah, we had like a good project. Let me. I had saved uh, this from uh, Ryan. I think I'm not sure. Zigo. No. Custom. Admin. Advent. Okay. No. Walmart admin. I don't have it anymore. Chat voice. No. That's a shame. That's a shame. Hello, sir. Hello, chat. Hello. Let me change the place as well. Because it just ended. So, okay. Etched. Okay. Yeah, so hi, Fabian. Welcome to the stream. We have uh, Masood, Rana. Hello, guys. What's up? websites let's see because they have like good animations so nft websites OpenSea. so we've already built uh, OpenSea marketplaces for the okay open seed then axi larva so axi infinity let's see Oh, you can play this on, uh, on 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 the website. What? I had no idea. Can you actually play this on the website? Ah, I was sure. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Larva, uh, variable NFT marketplace. Let's see. Mm. 
Rarible, Rarible, okay, let me search for it. Rarible, Mar. looks like a rockstar is this like a copycat of um, open sea it looks so similar I mean I think they are the same collections but um, Yeah, so they are the same, um, it's just a different marketplace, okay. Coin market cap, yeah, let's do coin market cap. Coin market cap. We'll do for sure a uh, coin market cap. I just think it's uh, too simple for now. What do you guys think? Should I do it or not? Uh, coin market cap T Braider. T Braider. Let's see T Braider. I mean, after you build one component, it will be pretty easy to change them, you know? So. You don't have to build this and this and the components, yeah. But uh, let me save coin market cap as well. So control D, done. Nice. Now, now let me look for a T braider. T braider. T braider. If uh, new people join the stream, they they'll think we're doing like. Uh, <laughs> NFT scams. <coughs> okay. What is this? Is this your Facebook account? I think that's his Facebook account. Ferdi, hello, Zura, what's up? Uh, how do you know the mobile or tablet viewport just by resizing the Chrome window? You can just inspect this. And you have here like um, different uh, devices for, for uh, mobile and if you want something for web, you just check um, the sizes, for example, resolution, uh, I not iPhone, um, MacBook, 2022 resolution and that's how you figure out I'm meaning bitcoins but the price is dropping now it's very bad really how many graphics cards do you have so let me go here no Okay, so I think we'll do coin market cap, guys. Yeah, let's do coin market cap, okay? So I'll open an incognito tab right now. Bam. 
Always good content, thank you, thank you. So, coin market cap. As well, like that, bam. I actually, I actually want to build the. I actually want to build this tomorrow because I want to make a a, a thumbnail for the YouTube channel and everything. You know, it'll go. Uh, we'll get uh, better views, you know. So I'll do tomorrow coin market cap. But today, have I um have I saved this? Yeah, I saved it. Now let's go to Burger King for example because somebody said Burger King once. And we can go and build Burger King. It's pretty simple, I think. So Burger, Burger King. Uh, Burger King. Uh, oh no, this is that raw. So that us usa they don't have a burger king dot com biki dot com okay we'll do this one Uh, thanks bro, I'm watching your streams uh, for a very long time, your content is best, thank you, thank you. Call of Duty. So we'll do something like this, we'll do like a, a frequent ask questions as well, so now like an accordion as well, so I'll show you how to do that. Figure out together, uh, Call of Duty T, hello black, hello, hello, hello. Reddit 2.0, we've already done that. <coughs> so yeah, we'll do we'll do this one. Okay. <laughs> your lives are very good. Uh, thank you for your time uh, with us every single day teaching us so advanced contractors llc <coughs> he just translated uh, a text to romanian and it's sounding like a, a robot is talking okay <laughs> but yeah Bam bam bam. Where are you from? Um, the guy commented. Tum, tum. Yeah, let's continue, guys, and we'll build this thing, okay? So we'll have all these, and at the bottom, we'll have like an accordion as well. <laughs> he deleted the message. Don't delete the message. Uh, I also have one more question. I use Tailwind. Should I start responsive design from mobile to large devices? Yes, always. So inspect the website. Bam. And if you have to build a website, I usually go with uh, iPhone 5. So it should look good on iPhone 5 as well. And Burger King has uh, an iPhone 5 version as well. Okay. So that's good to know. I think Burger King can go like a, <laughs> a nice video with thumbnail as well. So let me go to Dribble and get like a uh, where is it Dribble? I want to do I want to do like a, a YouTube. I want to do like a, the video saying before now because right now we have the the thumbnail with building a website, you know. So it's not really good for this thing. I want to do like a Burger King uh, wallpaper and everything as well, you know? So I'll build something from Dribble with a an accordion or something like that because we've never built an accordion on this web on this uh, channel. So let's see. Have an accordion, so. 
accordion hi bro good evening hello hello yeah so see this you want to build something like this hello okay and when you drop down you want to show some options as well but no um accordion options okay maybe something like this hmm let's see Fre frequent ask question it was so frequent FAQ FAQ Quant fam hello black not happy um McDonald yeah maybe McDonald as well not happy hello hello guys okay so something like this guys frequently asked questions so I'll do like a, a page with this thing where can I learn react uh, here on this channel so let me close this as well I'll go incognito let me save this first I hope it I hope it's a JPEG no so webp to JPEG as well so webp to PNG as well webp to PNG converter now I'll move this here I'll move this here convert okay download this nice now let's install react with tailwind css as well so i'll close this first let me open this image nice now let's install react i have multiples yeah so react with tailwind should i do it in uh, next.js what do you guys think uh, it will be the same so Comment, comment in the chat so you want uh, Next.js or Tailwind or uh, React. I'll do React. Or Next, let's do Next. No, React, let's keep it React, okay. React with Tailwind CSS. Okay, move it here. What's that? That song on there. That sound from the song. Okay, let's open the terminal right here. Folder 3 and let's paste this in. No, what? npm install no what is this no let me create a new folder so new folder i'll drop this in bam so let me copy this paste it here and instead of my project i'll have uh faq okay so while this installs i'm gonna grab a snack and i'll be back in two seconds okay
Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. 25 people. Hello guys. Like your videos, they are very very helpful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, T T T. Hello Baka. Hello Hang. Rashid. And not Avi. Yeah. So we'll have this page, guys. Where's this? Bam. So we'll have this uh, FAQ. Frequently asked questions. We'll build the. We'll build the uh, never at the end. We'll build this uh, page first and then we'll add an bar, okay? So I'll go in SRC, I can delete app CSS, I can delete uh, logo, report, setup and test. Delete them, nice. Now in app.js, I can delete the header and these two as well. Index CSS, index.js, bam. Save. Okay, okay, can close this and this and now if I save and go to localhost as well, let's go to localhost Bam. I don't think we've started the server, let's check So yeah, we have to cd into FAQ and then npm start as well Nice mm -hmm. Let's wait a little bit for this to start. Okay, and it should be good. So I have a blank page. If you go to app.js, it should be. Close this as well. Let's open the design. Where is it? It's here. And I'll have first the FAQ. So I'll have a small paragraph. Now, so this one should be the title. Okay, so title. Title plus description. Now I'll have a title, then the search, search, oh I mean this one should be in the content, okay, so first we'll have the navbar, at the top, so navbar, this is how we should uh, start this, so we'll have the navbar here, and then the content, okay, so hero, then I will have the hero content, so hero, hero, save. Now we'll build a hero first, I'll have a hero component, hero, like this, like this, and in source we'll have a folder called components, inside components we'll have, let me see, inside components we'll have a, a, a component called hero, but let me go first here to, okay, 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 done, done, okay, this one, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, okay, Okay, so let's continue, guys. We'll go. By the way, we uh, will you add a key for clone of some web apps like Netflix or Uber, like need more light, the, the authentication and logic part. Yes, for sure, for sure. That's coming, that's coming, guys. They are coming for sure. Probably like in a week or two, for sure. We'll do, uh, we'll do content with uh, authentication and everything. Yeah. With Firebase, probably. So, yeah. So hero, right here we have the hero, uh, and let's have a hero component, let's import this as well. Instead of components, let's create a hero.js component, hero.js, rafc, save, and an app.js, let's import, oh, we have two of them. So let's import this hero, hero, make sure you import this at top, let's go to hero now, save, and we have the hero right here. So in this one here, here we'll have FAQ. So I'll have a um, title. I'll say title. Then we have the search. So we have that input with the search, 
have any questions we are here to help so this one so search then we'll have the uh, frequent asked questions okay so FAQ FAQ that and this one we'll see we'll see after okay let's build this first so having the title I have a paragraph with FAQ so FAQ S okay FAQs save it like this and we have this now in app.js you can see where is this coming from let's see so if you go to index CSS app.js hero div FAQ what is this right here if I refresh yeah there's something there let's check FAQs margin block start paragraph. Yeah, we have margin at top and bottom. Mm. Oh, we did not import all the tailing CSS. My bad, guys. So I have to go into tailing CSS. Where's this? So tailwind, tailwind with React. React. Let's finish this because, because we've only installed React, but we've not installed Tailwind. Okay, so go into the terminal, duplicate this, and say CD, say CD into the project. So CD FAQ, CD FAQ, then paste the npm install for Tailwind and paste the second one as well. T T hello side hello Noor like the streams pps what's a pps 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 meaning the short mark at the end of the after pps no uh post post script what's that I'm not sure. Okay. I'll paste the second one, so I'll copy this. Copy, paste this here as well. Bam. Now copy this telling config. Copy the telling config, we'll paste it inside here. Paste it here, save. Now let's copy index CSS as well and paste it inside the index CSS at the top right here. Save. And now we should be good. So if we restart the server because we changed um, telling config, just uh, say Control C to stop the server, and then Y uh, to confirm, and then npm run start npm start. We should be good now, guys. So we should get rid of these things right here. Okay. Is the server running? Let's see. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, it's just a short term for uh, we we say for people. Oh, peoples, not PPL. Okay. Okay, so FAQ. In app.js do we have something like app, what is this, save, save, let's refresh this as well, okay nice, so if I have the app, was it from the app, no it cannot be, no, okay so we just had to refresh that, okay, save, inside the hero, let's close this as well, inside hero we'll have, So I'll have this FAQs in hero, FAQs. Now this one should be centered as well. So let's go for a center. What are we making? We are making this uh, freaking frequently asked questions um, web page. Let me uh, get rid of my jacket.
so FAQs search okay so after the FAQs we'll have the title I guess so FAQs I mean it's the same thing as title so we'll have a div like this we don't really need a div but anyway no I'm not gonna use the div okay I'm not even going to use the div actually I do need it because I have use flex so I have a div right here and after the FAQs want this to be flex flex items item center not really just justify center justify center okay so now we're in the center we want some paint to the top as well so if you go here and give it a class name class name of padding top of 20 No, you don't need merge stack to build this. FAQ is just the UI. Yeah, we'll build this um, this uh, accordion as well. So FAQs will have after this. Well, first of all, this one should be uh, bold, so class name, uh, font bold. On bold like that so yeah font bold we want a font of poppins let me go get poppins or if I go here uh, if I go to FAQ this one let me check the font of this thing. So font, what font? Has growth. Okay, what? Ah, so is it because it's from? It's coming from a. Uh, has growth. Yeah, I think so. So we'll go with Poppins anyway. So we'll download Poppins. We'll go to Google Fonts Poppins. Let's install this font. Hello Rishi, hello Smile. Good day, greetings, good day, good day, good day. Indeed. So I'll pretty much select everything. Uh, I mean, not really. So we'll go with 400. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. Now let's import this as well. So I'll copy the link right here. We'll go to public, public index, and let's paste this inside the header. So the header is right here. So before the title, we can paste this as well and save now we can use it inside tailwind css inside the, the css inside the css file so index css we can select everything and say that we want this font family of poppins okay so now the faqs changed perfect let's go back to tailwind config now hero js yes so we'll have here after the FAQs frequently asked questions uh, with a bold H1. So it will be an H1. Control, hello, okay. They're talking in, okay. Barat Makati, okay. Maybe try a website on like college, university, fest, or party website. There are very low resources in that topic and lots of students search for that. <laughs> Lots of students uh, look for college, university, fest, or party website. Okay. English, guys, English. We're uh, speaking English, guys. Okay, so, um, yeah. We want an H1 right here of frequently. Frequent. Frequent. Frequently 
ask questions okay like that save now we can see this that they should be flexed as well so flex justify center we want a flex column as well flex column and they'll go to left right here because we have justify and we need items now so items center okay because when you when you do flex column they reverse so we have a uh, frequently asked questions we'll go here and say class name of font font semi bold i'll go with medium actually so font medium like that and we want this to be a text so now we're uh, modifying the size the size should be like 32 pixels let's check it out Go with 34 maybe like that yeah why not 36 I think it's big enough now looks like a serif it's a uh, poppins this one is poppins oh this one okay yeah because it's like a uh, capitalized I think have questions we're here to help yes yeah, so we'll have the search we'll have another paragraph inside the search but this one should be a div as well should it yeah it should be I mean we don't really need these divs if we, if I move this at the top right here should be enough like this save yeah it's, it's enough so now we'll have this div. No, we don't need the div. Okay. Save. Now we can delete the div. So we'll have have questions. So it'll be a paragraph with have questions. We are here to help. And not bam have this here we can make this uh, a color of gray so class name class name should be text gray 400 like that and font medium as well nice let's give some padding to top now so padding top should be 20 now 12, we'll go with 6, okay. so it's 8, okay, 8, and I want to add that search as well, so we'll have a an input, input with type search, love from India, nice, thank you. So we have this search icon right here, search input. Uh, we need name no, I didn't know, we need a placeholder. Placeholder of search. Search. Like this. Now the background should be, oh, we should have a border as well so let's have a class name or an outline or border let's see outline one but outline is the one inside yeah when you we need a border so i say border like that and should be rounded lg uh media maybe so md md small MD okay uh, large uh, rounded MD now let's have some padding to the left of uh, 4 like that and padding on the Y as well so padding 
padding on the Y should be 1.5 or only one like that I have some uh, margin to the top as well six what's up man how are you hello Yasuf what's up it's a guy Andrew Andrew nice name I like your name so search we have the search now the text have I mentioned the text on somewhere around no no I did not okay so the text is kind of big not gonna lie but padding on Y should be 0 or 4 pixels we'll go with 3 pixels okay padding on left okay Okay, I mean, yeah, so we have the search icon as well. Let's get uh, an icon as well. We'll go to react icons Because we'll need icons here as well pluses and minus minuses Minuses minuses, okay Thanks for uh, mentioning me bro. <laughs> yeah, no problem uh, React icons react icons Let me zoom in so let's in install this library with icons so I'll install this right here and beam install now let's look for first of all this one is an example of how to import an icon inside here so I'll paste it here and now let's look for a search high search where is the high search high search go gr or by search okay we'll go with by search by search save this let's close this one and this one because react icon is installed i'll copy it and we'll have uh, right now we need an uh, div right here like this save and we have here the icon like that save by search what's up from slash by so by save now where's the icon here okay so we'll need to make this class name of absolute and this one relative as well and we should make this flex items center And we should move this padding to the on the y axis here and we should move this margin to the top here as well and now we should be centered like that so padding on the y now the border should be at the top as well so we have this border dependent on the padding on the y okay like that and rounded as well save like that now one more padding to the left so we'll go with 8 and here we'll say that left should be 2 because we cannot use padding on an absolute item and the color should be gray as well text gray so we want this here as well save like that perfect now let's build this accordion okay You clone something like this? Yes. Okay. I think I already know how to do this, but uh, we'll see. If not, we'll look uh, out for something on Google. But I'm pretty much sure I can do it by myself. So FAQ. We'll have here a div like this. And let's create these questions okay so is there a free trial available okay so at the top we'll do this with a component yeah we'll do it with a component and we'll map to the component as well okay give me two seconds
Oops. It's okay, it's not the router. I have a lot of cables, so sorry guys for this. So, uh, great job. Hello, Alan. Hello, Tebo. Tebo, what's up, Tebo? Guys, where do we get these icons from? These uh, emojis. Uh, yeah, so we'll have... Can you just paste like any emoji? Can I copy it? Hand pink waving, okay. Emojis, oh, so you have like an emoji right here, okay. So if you say that then... Okay. Oh, it has to be at the end as well. Oh, nice. So you can uh, type it as well. Nice. Show your support for Goose Dev. Can I donate for myself? Uh, super sticker? What? Do you have super stickers? That's insane. Effective. They have a goose right here in the emojis. To so have this, this hippo. Ah, uh, they don't have a goose. They have a unicorn, but they don't have a goose. Or do they? Let's see. I was looking at these things, guys. I was looking if they have like a, a goose as well, but I don't think they have them. No foxes. Because I think I can donate to myself as well. <laughs> I'm not sure. I might be able to. Let me see. So I have this unicorn. No. No, they don't. So that's uh, that's lame from YouTube. How can I move this? Out of the way. Okay. That's so lame from YouTube. I'm not even gonna comment on this. So now guys, let's continue with this. We'll have um this accordion, okay? So we'll have mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we we want um at the top a const with the information, you know. So we want to display this as a component. So I have to map through this. So I'll have a const of questions equals with an array of objects. So the first one should say, uh, the first one should have questions and answers. So no, I'll have Q and A. So I'll have a Q and A's. Q and Q no um, questions shall I leave it as questions it's question and uh, answer as well so we have question and answer so Q and Q and A can I use the symbol can I use the symbol <laughs> I'm not sure Q and A not dollar and as the name of this equals and if I say hi no I, I cannot okay so you cannot so Q it will be a Q it will be a Q and A now it's it's confusing I'll just go with uh, questions save and we'll have here an array of objects. So I'll have the first one will be the question FAQ. FAQ? Yeah, FAQs. FAQ. And the first one will be a, a, a question, and the question will be Is there is there 
a free trial. Available. And we should have the answer as well inside the object. So I'll have answer. Answer will have as the answer. Um, yes, you can try. Ask for three. Okay, I'll say lorem ipsum. Okay, so lorem. I'll have lorem. No. Then. Now, so I have to paste this outside. I'll have lorem. Lorem ten Lorem ten again. No Lorem ten again. Lorem twenty. Bam. So this will be the response. Save. Question is: Is there a uh, free trial available? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'll have uh, two of these. I'll get a lorem of seven as well. It's enough. This one is enough. Let me delete this as well. Um, I have a third one again. Um, Lorem six. Is it the same one? Ipsum dollar seat amet constructor. No, it's the same one. <laughs> so I'll copy this. Paste. Nice, and I'll have a fourth as well, and that's it. Fourth and five, fifth, okay. And I have kind of the same one as the fourth. Lol. And this one should be okay. So save this like this. So I have like one, two, three, four, five questions, okay. Use Q and A. Yep. So let's see, I'm not sure if we have to add here an ID as well, but we'll see. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. So here at the bottom, let's map to them. So I'll have I'll have the Q and A. So let's map to Q FAQ. So FAQ dot map and for each FAQ. I want a component, right? So I'll have here an um, FAQ, FAQ component like this. Control B, let's create an FAQ component inside components, FAQ, uh, FA, no, FAQ.js, RFC. And in heroes, if I close this, if I go to heroes, FAQ, like that, save this. Let's import it as well. Save. And we should have, where's the name? We should have a uh, FAQ showing up. Is the text white by default? I don't think so. Save this. Let's go to FAQ. Yeah. For each FAQ, I want an FAQ. Yeah, well, it's not working because we've added these and it has to be, um, you cannot use curly braces, that's the problem. Save, and now we should have FAQ five times. 
We want some padding to the top as well, so padding top can be 12. Yeah, 12, 16, and that's it. Q and A. Yeah, I mean, we've already done FAQ. Q and A would have been better, yeah. Okay, well. Hmm. I mean, I want to zoom in here. Okay, like this. So we'll have for the first one, we'll have uh, a paragraph with this. So let's pass as props the question and the answer as well. So I'll have here question equals with FAQ that question. And then we have the answer as well equals with FAQ that answer. Now let's use question and uh, question and answer right here. So uh, let's use them as props. I'll copy question, and then we'll want answer as well. So comma. Oh my god. Answer. Save. Now let's use this question in a paragraph right here. So I have a paragraph with a question. Question and save. Uh, okay, so we have four questions. They should be class name, uh, font, font bold, like that. And this one should be a div like this with a plus at the end you know so we'll have a div right here with a plus we'll add an icon but for now let me use this so flex items center like that and we want this to be with full so let's see with full and justify between and we'll see a big change Justify between. Is it because this one should be flex items? Uh, let me check. So BG red for hundred. Yeah. So the width should be full. Justify between. If I give this a class name of width full as well. BG blue 400 let's check yeah so it's not full if you delete this you'll see the blue yeah so we want this to be with full what's up with this one so hero padding top okay okay so this one should be full as well so inside the hero we have FAQ and this one should be with full not uh, not the component okay so we, uh, we don't need with full on these ones I guess because they should be with full by default so no save like this nice it's working without them so this is what we want now we have to give this a max width of, of this here okay so at the top right here we can say max width max width should be like 40 40 rem save and we have this i'll go with 50 rem 50 rem like this and let's give it a margin on the x auto auto so we have them in the middle okay okay because you cannot use flex uh, item center anymore if you give it uh, a max width okay use QA okay 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 hello everyone who's watching the stream so FAQ questions yeah well we'll go to FAQ We'll delete this BG red as well, we'll delete this BG blue as well. Bam, bam. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Mm. Okay, so we have these we'll have in the FAQ 
will have a okay is there a free trial available or mipsum we'll have the answer as well so i'll copy this and under beneath let's see flex items under this five between no here we'll have a paragraph with the answer inside save save okay so answer should be equal to faq that answer okay save like that nice now this is still in line let's check if I give this a bitchy red yeah they're still in line I was not sure save <laughs> this one should be a class name class name of uh, text gray so text uh, gray gray 400 We'll go with 500 like that and we want a little bit of uh, padding to the top so padding top of two gray 400 like that and here in heroes where we have uh, here we can give it a space on the y-axis of six so we have some spacing between them like that Move this out of the way. Okay. The chat went quiet. What's up, guys? Let me go to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we don't want these. In FAQ we want these to be uh, hidden like this and we want them to be flex or yeah flex we want them to be flex on small let's see if it works yeah okay so instead of this one I'll have them hidden right here I'll make this conditional you know so here I'll make this conditional like this um, because we want them to show up only when we click on them right so hidden what's up what's up my bad so this one should be outside what what are they called so these things uh, when you do these things how, how should you call this not sure how should you call like uh, this thing <laughs> uh, okay so we'll have inside uh, this okay so I'll see just true something like this okay so here we'll have the condition that says no so here we we'll have the condition can I type something and then end it Can I type a comment inside? Okay, perfect. So I'll have if clicked show shop. Yeah, so we still have no condition inside. So let me copy this and delete it save yeah so hello Saud what's up so we'll have probably like a function let me see so when you click on this so I have a go away I have a fly so I have it here let's see so when you click on this we'll need a state as well so we'll need a state at the level of 
I'll have the state where inside this or outside. Where should I have it? I think I'll go with the state inside here. Let's see if it works. If not, I'll go outside. So I'll say const. This would uh, can. It's possible that I'm I'm wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong. So const. Okay. So I'll go with um, open. But I mean, it will be the same state. Open and set open. I think I'll have to go outside of this one. Open and go with a function, you know. So open equals use state state, and this should be false by default. False, false, and and we'll have a function. Um, and this one will be const. No, save. On click, on click. Now on click on this one. On click on this button right here. So um, I'll make this even bigger. So I'll say uh, BG, BG, red 400, BG blue 400, 500. And I'll say padding on the X, padding on round of 2, just so we have a, a big button. Now padding on the X2. Like that. And when you click on this, so on, on click, I want, on click, I want the state to change, okay, so. This will not work for sure. <laughs> So I'll have to go with the state outside, okay guys? Uh, on click, I want the open, and to set open, and make the open variable a state, so open um, to the opposite of set open, okay? So I want to set this with to the to the opposite. And when this one is false, I don't want uh, this text to show up, but if it's true, so if here we need a conditional, so if open is true, so if open is true, then I want this to be flex, okay? So flex, so it will override the hidden. Otherwise, I want the, I want nothing and save and let's check this out. <coughs> So if I say here BG red 400, 400, save, let's refresh. So on click set open, the opposite of open. So let's console log this uh, open to see if it's working or not. Console the log and open save let's import this as well console so it's working okay we need a key prop as well so here we need a key on the faq we'll have faq we'll have a key as well no we don't want free girls sorry let me delete this I use on this channel, okay. I haven't seen this guy in like this bot in so long. So key should be so we should have a FAQ and an ID or key. What was the name? Key, I guess. And key equals with key. It was something like this, right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Perfect true false so we need to move this we we'll need to move this open so if open is true ok 
Okay, answer. Save. So if I say scale, let me say scale to zero, and then here scale 100, scale full. Yeah, so it's not working like this. I'll have to go back to scale flex flex hidden save. So we'll need to use this at the top, right? So uh, in hero. If I copy this state, open and set open, save, or no, no, we can leave this right here, so we need to pass a function, no? let me change this one, check my DMs, send you a nice example of coding, okay, change this. Uh, yeah, Fabian, I want I want to do it uh, by myself first. I want to try it by myself because I'm sure you will solve it anyway. Uh, yeah, there's there are a lot of examples. I just want to try to see if I uh, I uh, come with like a how do you call this like a natural uh, result. So I'll go and set the state right here at the top, and I'll use the state right here. False. Uh, answer okay, so we'll have the state. I mean, we don't really need the state we need. Yeah, when you click on this, if answer okay, hidden. If I delete this, native code okay, false, 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 false. false. I understand, yeah. Okay. So when you click on this limit thing, so I'll have I think it's because of the CSS. Because if you do it like this, let me show you. Okay. If you do it outside, so if you go like go like this <laughs> because the the red thing is uh, it's working uh, but the flex and hidden is not working you know so I need here save okay so the state is working now we'll have to go here and say is open is open and this thing okay So this basically says, if open is true, I want this paragraph to show up, okay? Save. Okay. Is open, is this like a... It's not defined, is open. Oh, it's just open, so open. Save, let's refresh. Okay, so it's working, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, I, I, I thought it is gonna be like uh, way more complicated, but I guess if you set the state inside, it will work anyway. It's more complicated if you want to set the state outside. So if you want to state, if you want to set the state, for example, if you want to set the state right here in the hero, it's gonna be uh, a little bit more complicated. So let's try to set the state outside as well. So I'll copy this state, copy, save, and I'll paste it right here as well and save. And now, where's this? Um, open, set open, okay, we don't need this anymore. And I'll pass this, I'll pass this state, where is it? Here, open. So I'll pass this state as props right here inside this FAQ. FAQ. I'll say open equals with 
open save because it's this thing right here so it's this state okay this is not working for now but don't worry so let's import you state as well yeah so you state let's import this save I try to remove it when you click it are you trying to remove it when uh, you click it? I want to set the state right here. So, for example, uh, when one is open, uh, I want the other ones to, to close, you know? So, that's why I want to set the state right here. So, I have the open. Now, like when this one is open and click on this one, I want this one to close up and this one to show up, you know? So, I, I have the logic in mind. Let's uh, just implement this, okay? So I have a const right here, and we have it. Where is it? FAQ. Okay, so we are sending this. Let's go to FAQ, and inside we'll have a open as well. Open, save. And when you click on this, you'll get uh, an event, right? So this event on click should have like an event. Yeah, an event. Right when you click on it, open. No, so we need an ID as well, okay? So ID, I say ID. ID equals with key. Can I use the key? Or is it bad to use the key? So we'll use the uh, ID as well save and if and if id equals with id and and open is true we want this to show up right let's see open we have the open answer okay so i misspell this Let's check this out so id equals with id yeah so we'll have to set the yeah we need a function we need a function because we want to we want to change the state and uh, tell hero when we change the state as well you know so we need a function to change the state i'll say const const handle state equals and here we should have okay hello john hello welcome to the uh, stream okay. so we need a function guys because when you click on this button inside this right here we want to tell hero uh, that the state is updated you know so let's use this function that says on click no uh, we want when this function um, how do you say this when this function how do you say this word in English Yeah, so when this function triggers, you want um, you want the state to be changed. So set open, set open to the opposite of open. Okay, and let's pass this handle state function as well. Save and let's use the function as props here. Save. So on click. We want this function to show to happen okay handle state i think it's with parentheses as well um event we don't really need this event so on click we want to handle state and let's console log the state right here so i say console yeah here let me console log console log the open okay save actually no i'll do it here in the hero because we can already do that there so 
base console log open so let's inspect this uncut 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 <laughs> uh set is open is not defined set is open where is this set is open uh set open set open to the opposite of open okay save let's refresh okay perfect no errors so yeah this is what uh, i meant so this is the problem that we'll fix when you click on this state it's one state for everything so now we'll have we we'll have to add um not an event but like an id right so let me change these songs are so loud it just hurts my head uh, id yes yes so we'll have to say uh if id equals with id and open Let's console log the ID as well. I'm really curious about the ID. So console console that log because I use the key as an ID. So console log the ID. Uh, what is it? Console one two three four. Okay, so the IDs are different. We have one two three four five IDs. Cool. Zero one two three four. And if the ID equals with, yeah, we'll need an ID here in this one as well. So let's add an ID. Hmm? Or do we? We need to. Oh no, we we need to give this function an ID. Okay, so when we give this function an ID, save. Uh, handle say that ID, or should it be to this function? Oh, it should be. Is it because of the? I think you need to add parentheses. Oh, really? I don't think so. But let's see. Oh. We would uh, we would have uh, gotten error if we needed parentheses. Control copy like this and open. Okay, so here. Yeah, uh, they are not needed. Uh, is is the correct? Uh, the syntax is correct. It's just um, where where this is not working because we are uh, trying to see if the ID equals with the ID. So the ID that we get from here will always be equal with the ID, right? So uh, the ID we are checking if the ID it's equal with the ID. Like we are uh, comparing the same thing. So we need an ID from this thing on click. When you click on this thing on the FAQ, you know, so key on this one and we'll need a second one. So the on click function should be like on this right here, you know, because we need the event or no. So we have here an event handle state, handle state, where should we put the, uh, the state? Um, because we need to check if the ID corresponds with the key okay so it has to be right here yeah so if the key equals with the ID maybe let's see so if the key key no because they'll be the same um, so basically this is for example this is zero right now okay on click yeah so this function needs an uh, event so it needs an id and if the id can we add on click handle state of event okay no so event okay Oh, we have to set an uh, an event right here. And if the ID equals with the event, maybe 
No. <laughs> this is tricky. So when you click on this, you get an event, right? And you have one, two, three, four, five uh, different events. Don't forget to use equals three times to compare both type and string. Yeah, but it will not make a difference. Um, it's not important because when you get this event, this will be like the whole div, you know? So th this event on click, it gets you this div right here. So you want to check the divs, you know, because each um, uh, handle state can you use can you use parentheses with the event here. <laughs> no, we cannot. Save. I mean, the logic behind it is pretty simple. We are missing like two 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 words, but I I don't know where to put these uh, these events. So let's see. Mm. Because the event on click, okay, and we should send the event at the top. This is more complicated, as I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not complicated at all. It's just I don't know where to put this event. Because uh, this is how you do it with only one state right here, but set open is not okay. So when you click on this, ID open parameter, yeah. Because I've done the same thing with uh, with buttons, you know, and uh, there was the same problem. I resolved it. I just don't remember where where should I put the um, event. It's a little bit tricky because you have to compare. Let's let's take it logically. So you have to compare what you have to compare the event with other events. So when you click on this, you get an event. Okay, FAQ, mate just started CS University, classes a couple months ago, okay, you cannot imagine how much your streams have helped me, yeah, no problem, thank you, thank you for watching, ID equals ID, not sense, yeah, it makes no sense, we don't need that, <laughs> we don't need this, <laughs> because he's changing, he's checking the same ID. <laughs> Key equal equals ID. No, because it, it will uh, the key and the ID are already the same thing, you know. So it will not make a difference. You, know, you have to check the ID of this with the ID of the others, and the ID leaves where ID equals with the key. So when you map right here, but then you need an FAQ and an answer, you know? Yeah, key equals ID uh, doesn't make sense neither, no. Let me make this bigger as well, back again. It has to be at the top, but where? Key. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Because you have to think that you'll have here to look like this, okay? So it looks something like this with five of these and each will have a different one. And you want this handle state to change, go away fly. And you want this uh, state to change not for everyone. Oh here. So here I think you have to give uh, this conditionally No on the function dude on, on the function so on the function right here you have to say 
that if the um, key well how do you get the event because you have the event right here inside this is the tricky part because you have the event inside and you have the function outside and you have to move this event event I think handle state event can I console log the state event let's see uh, handle state can I console log the ID if I can console log the ID I think I can do this so console log ID ID if I can console log this is pretty much done let's see console log One, two, three. Console log uh, ID and then hi. Let me see. So console log. Hi. Okay. Open is a problem because there is one. Add handle to component. No, but I want to do it uh, this way. <laughs> and that's the problem because I already know how to do it uh, that way. Was where's the high? Where's the high? <laughs> Console log high. I don't see the high. What's up? Oh. On click target, click native pointer event. What? High high. Oh, okay, so target. Oh, okay, so target that. That what? That uh, alt key no. Where is it? Uh, value. Where's the value? Type target. Okay, so target, and then value should be around here. Value, value, value. Timestamp no view. Should be a value somewhere around here. Target, and then view timestamp no. Type click. Prototype now view on click. Where's this? Detail get all keys. Event should have a value. Target that value should have target that value. So ID that target that value I just don't see it it's definitely a value as well let's see so high undefined <laughs> okay so it's undefined now uh, that target maybe save if I click now div bg okay so that target okay so now we have this target perfect now we want to check if the target if the target right here matches with the one that we've clicked on it right I did a target so handle state <laughs> now have this and it has an ID as well uh, that event let's see so here on click if the if the event equals equals with um, handle state but how do we pass the state from here how do we pass this ID how do we pass this ID how do we pass this ID here equals with the ID with the handle state handle state even that target then we want to console of high can you do this high
No. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, the spam work, let me. No tea today, <laughs> okay. On click event equals with handle that event. Can you do that? Can you do that? Because that's that's what I was trying to do. So if event equals with uh, handle state that event. I mean, if this event is passing through, this is gonna work. So if I click on this, no. <laughs> so this event is not uh, handle event. I need help personal assistance, okay. Join Discord, dude, you'll have a lot of people helping you there. So now we'll have to pass this event as well. Handle state. Handle state. With the ID. No. Save. Handle state. Okay. Oh, inside I can say console, no, const, const uh, id, no, const element equals with the id. Oh my god, I, I can do it like this. So, const element equals with the id. And how do I pass this, uh, how do I pass this out? Element equals with the id. How do I pass this out? element <laughs> id <clears throat> oh if the id no how do i move this out of this cost element because we have it here now we can console log the id as well let's see console log now I can console this ID as well. So you should see hi two times. If I refresh and click on this, we have two times this. So if I delete this one and I refresh, hi, how many times do I have hi? Console of hi, hi, we don't need this. Let's refresh. So now when you click on this, ID that target. Save and refresh and go again. Go again. And you click on this. Now, where do you get this? That target, where's the target? Yeah, so target should be target. Target div. Yeah, I should get this. ID that target that value. Save it like this. And if you click now, no. Yeah, it's this one. The target, let me say console log high as in. Again, console that log uh, one. No, console log um, Z like this. I want it after as well. And let's go to console. And refresh. So get ZZ and nothing. Okay. So if I delete this, this one, this one will not show up at all. The C, so it's not showing up. Const element. Oh, we are not console logging out. <laughs> console console that log element. That's that's why it was not showing up. T hello Poman, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Let's check it now. So it's undefined. So we don't need target, we don't need value. If I refresh this, let's see. 
div okay perfect so now if element equals with Uh, element equals with the ID of this one handle state <laughs> oh inside here if the ID equals let's see the ID if this equals with this okay so if if um, id equals the id so if if id equals with the id then i want this to to run okay so let's see save I want hot latte today okay <clears throat> no I think I'll, I'll look up uh, <laughs> I think I'll look uh, up an accordion let's see so accordion on react I just don't know where to set this up let's see Let's keep on. no uh, menu rack from scratch yeah so I have this but they have only one nope default false I would give open view state in component open default false open you state component yep uh, but if I give it in the component I already know how to do this it will work if you give it in the component but if you want to map to it I want to do it uh, outside let's see photo builder okay from scratch yeah so something like this let's see Where do you give this? Return, okay. Styles, stream mode, um, FAQ, header, let's see. Uh, then I have index, index FAQ, FAQ is what? What's the FAQ? From data, accordion. Button okay. Where's the logic? Okay, so we have the state right here, and then yeah, uh, for fun, yeah, it's working like that. But I want to do it uh, this way. I want to find a way to do it this way. So answer. Clicked, clicked. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we should have a state inside. Mm -hmm. Toggle prop, okay. So clicked in accordion. State. Index click equals index. So how do you pass the index? That's the question. On toggle handle accordion item on toggle on click uh, really yeah but th uh, they are saying like uh, you should go here in the index and it will work like this as well. So handle state is it here? They say when you click on this thing, so if you say here on click, but I knew how already how to do this, so on click, on click, uh, on click, you want this function to run, where is it, 
handle state handle state handle state with the ID of the key like that something like this they want to do something like this and I can see this working like this but what's up I can see this working but let's see, okay what's up too many re-renders reacting so no more renders to prevent infinite loop the hero component oh handle on click oh yeah you have to make it a narrow function save croatia brazil zero zero uh, watch World Cup, don't study, please. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch uh, the World Cup as well. Relax, bro, solve this problem. Relax, yeah, TJ, Croatia. Yeah, 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 that was the problem. So, like this. And now they say when you click on this, handle state is not a function. Handle state. Handle state. Yes, it is a function. <laughs> what? FAQ and I said oh you don't need this you don't need this neither uh, on click you don't need this anymore because you are doing it uh, on the on the accordion you know so now if I refresh let's see nothing happens because I'm currently doing your Amazon video. Okay, cool. Let's watch him. So I guess they want to do it right here and they want to check if the key, where have they done? Let's, let me see again the example. So they said if, okay, vacuum, FAQ okay index active equals okay is this it clicked okay if clicked is it clicked U state okay so you should set this U state to only one so for example if it's zero at first so for example if it's nine at first and then you want to set the one with the key if I save it like this in FAQ let's see how do you have this so if open is true, if it's if open is true, let's console log open. Mm, console log open. What's up? Like this. No, 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 we have to move it outside. Actually state first, so I have to delete this. Hey, what? Okay, so let's console log this as well. If open equals with the ID of this, save. equals with the ID and open should be hmm. Hmm. if 
20 equals which event I'll take the event I mean not sure there are greetings from Ecuador greetings greetings I'm not sure if uh, if um, if Fabian is still in in, uh, in the chat. Fabian, are you still in the chat? Because I'm looking at uh, your example. Dum, 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 dum. Is this a sandbox? And this one is how it should. Uh, this is how our accordion should be as well. So. This is the perfect example, let's see. So we have the state right here. And we are mapping through it as well. So I fake you that map. Yes, yes, yeah, so this one is the perfect example because they are mapping through it. And when you click on this and click on, another, on a different one, you get a... So let's see how they did it. Let's see, so... The hello check it hello uh, FAQ and set FAQ okay so you have only one state perfect then you are mapping through this and this Y it's our key okay and the FAQ it's this uh, the FAQ is the object that they are mapping through okay so for example this one and if Y equals with the index oh okay so what is this right here so toggle FAQ equals so this one can look like this and will look uh, and it will have the same result. Okay, so if it's like this, save. So it has the same result, it's just um, differently looking. So this is a, a function, right? It's a function and inside oh, okay, so you have you need an you need a um, a function yeah that's that was uh that was um confusing because we were trying to we were trying to set this index so we had this index we've had this index and we were trying to move this index from here from this function to this thing right here and what we had to do was just to wrap this function what was to wrap this map with our function so if you move this if you move if you move this uh function where is it I did not even look at the whole thing, but uh, we'll figure this out. So, if you move this function, if you copy this, copy, handle state, uh, can I, console log return, yeah, they're setting it outside of the return. Oh, so they have, uh, they have one function outside of return and then one inside. So, faqs.map, faq. Toggle FAQ. Let's see this this one it's interesting because uh, FAQ okay so this one is the object let's see the object as well so object has the question and the answer as well perfect and you need to pass the function as well and the index and the FAQ okay so in FJS yeah this makes sense I would do that uh, my way it's better no it's <laughs> your way is not better because I done this I done that uh, the first time uh, but when, when you try for example if you want this functionality when you click on something 
to this to open and this one to close you cannot do that with your method uh, for fun because you are storing the state inside the of inside the um, inside the component and you cannot tell hero js that um i click on something else so close this one okay so you cannot do that this one is the 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 way to do this if you want this functionality so we have a faq okay you have the state right here and then toggle faq toggle faq and you're sending this one as well so set faq oh so oh okay so they're changing this one toggle faq where is it toggle faq okay equals it index and set faq yeah so they're setting this state to faq that map faq okay okay return faq and they're returning the faq the they're returning the object with that id okay because if y equals with index FAQ that open which is the song uh, please try copy and tell why uh, my way is weak okay I'll show you I'll, I'll show you after because I want to do this first I'll show you why uh, it's uh, it's not gonna work how do you how are you gonna um, Move the state. Let me. With your method, you you will be able to open this one, and when you click on this one, it will be open as well. So both of them will be open. They'll they will close only when you click the second time. Because you have one state for everything, and that's why. I mean, it will you'll have one state for uh, every single one, and you'll have to go. Uh, you'll have to. Um, you'll you'll need two functions. Okay, so I don't know how to explain, but it's, it's not gonna work like that, because I showed you I showed you already at the start. So const toggle FAQ, index, set FAQ, FAQ map, okay. So we are mapping through those and if y index, if y equals index, so if y, where's the y? This one is the index of the object, so this one is the index of this object and if the index where you click on this, it's equal with the, this one because this toggle FAQ will run yeah, see, so this they are comparing two indexes, so one and two, because this one is the index. I mean, y is the event. Okay, yeah, so it's the event. So if you console log, for example, event. Let's try, for example, here. Let me have not a key. I mean, I'll have the key as well. But if I have an event as well, and if I try to pass the event as well. And console log the event. Let's console log the event. Save and refresh. Undefined uh, event that target my bad. So save first of all. And so should be event that target. So e e equals with e. E save. Lorem Ipsum 1, 2, 3, 4 <laughs> What? Why do you get it so many times? And why do you get them uh, event that target? Let's see, target Undefined that value Okay Oh, it's because at the top, where is it? We've set this to 9, yeah. Save. This one should be just false.
False, false. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um. Yes, we don't have a value. Can you console log this? Okay, so the event it's everything. When you click on this FAQ, I'm not really sure when you click on this why all five show up. Not this one. Where is it? This one. So set FAQs. FAQ that map. FAQ and Y. Okay. Yeah, this is very simple. Uh, we'll just have to transfer it to our uh, app. So uh, toggle FAQ. Okay. FAQ, bam bam, FAQ that map, okay. So here we are setting the FAQ, so we are setting the state. This FAQ that map, first map, okay. Return false. FAQ that open, they have an open. Oh, so they have an open and false as well on them. Okay, so that's how it works. But I was thinking about, I was thinking about doing this accordion without. <laughs> it would be interesting to do it without this one, you know. So this one would be even. Uh, I was trying to do it because now I can see they have uh, this one as well. I was trying to do something uh, without one, you know, because I could have set the ID. Um, I was trying to set the ID. Go back. Control Z. I was trying to find a way to to solve this without uh, an open true and false as well. So this one it's open by default, but if I say false like this, my work method, dude, stuff that is not with your method. You can do a code pen. I'll show you at the end. You cannot do this thing. So with your method. When you click on the second one, the boat will stay open with your method. Okay, so FAQ. Do you, do you even understand what I mean? For fun. Yeah, so with uh, with this uh, open, will work for sure. With this uh, property of open. FAQ open ok, so if y equals with the index, FAQ that open, ok, otherwise FAQ that open is false, yeah. Ah yes, yeah. So what? So, uh, I mean you want this one. You want this effect. Uh, return FAQ, so return false or true. This is what it says, return false or true. And inside the FAQ you want the FAQ, what is it? You want the FAQ, so you want the object, yeah. And index is the index, key is the index as well, and toggle FAQ with toggle FAQ. What is this toggle FAQ? Oh, toggle FAQ equals with this, uh, is blocked. I thought you wanted to leave it open. Nope, I don't want it. My uh, browser just uh, froze. Yeah, it froze. It froze up. Yeah, but let's do it this way. Come on. Come on.
I'll close this window. Ah, I cannot close this window. Okay. And let's do it this way. So we'll have here. Uh, let me clean a little bit this code. So I'll have console log. Let me delete this all all this stuff. Uh, just to not get confused. So we'll need the question and the answer as well. They do it with two of the uh, as well. Probably yes. Take team in. Welcome uh, me when hello Raul. What's up? I was not on the live chat, let's see. Yes, I'll move this. No, I cannot do this. Hmm. Uh, so, FAQ that answer question, okay. Uh, div. FAQ plus class name I don't know what this class name is right here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess it's for styling I'm not sure uh, and FAQ question what's the styling about the key relative 20 pixels <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it's for styling a lot of styling do you remember in Vatable? Yes, by name, yes. And in component, use effect with open. <laughs> Dude, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. For fun. Um, what's making this sound? Look at web section that I owe dude. Web section. Let me check first the I'm really curious uh, flash score. I'm really curious what uh, is Brazil doing? Brazil Croatia zero zero. Mm. That's tough, that's tough. Is it really that hard? Let's see. Um statistics. Let me look on um, So the position let me see statistics position fifty fifty. Ooh. For for uh okay, this kind of uh it's kind of um how do you say this? Uh, they are kind of equal, no? Even though Croatia has, Croatia has, uh, uh, in the statistics, has a uh, ten times uh, lower possibility of winning, you know. So like, <laughs> if you bet on Brazil, you get a uh, um, fifty percent return. If you bet on uh, Croatia, you get ten times, no, so five hundred percent. So fifty percent versus five hundred percent. Return a zero zero. That's insane. I mean, Croatia has good uh, players as well. So let me check uh, formations. <laughs> I mean, the first eleven has let's see has Inter, Leipzig, Celtic, Chelsea, Hoffenheim, you know Zagreb, uh, Zenit, Real. Atlanta, Tottenham, Stuttgart, and if you take a look at Brazil, <laughs> Liverpool, United, Juventus, PSG, Real, PSG, West Ham, okay, Barcelona, uh, Tottenham, <laughs> Chelsea, Real, yeah, it's like a, it's like if you compare this, is like a, in Bundesliga, for example, a top one team with a with a 10 place team something like this 8 10 something like that uh, okay look okay I I don't give up okay tumba fachuda hello 
Do you know what is Mantin that dev? No, I have no idea what that is. So we're here, let's continue. Let's do this. So we'll have, first of all, uh, let me have the question and the answer as well. Uh, FAQ question, FAQ that question. Like this. Uh, FAQ question and answer. They are, uh, let me control Z. Uh, here they're uh, passing the whole object, but I don't want to do that, so I'll, I'll use it like this. So we'll have a FAQ that question, okay? Mm -hmm. Question and answer. But I'm not sure what's this uh, class name all about. Let me check uh, if I change it. So if I change this class name, if I don't want this class name to show up. Ooh, so it's a big part. Yeah, it's a big part. Save. Let's see. Save. <laughs> Let's check the, the CSS as well, it's interesting now. So FAQ that open what is to be open <laughs> so it's not working anymore. It's based on CSS save No, I cannot. Uh, I cannot open your link. It's taking like ten time, ten hours to open. Uh, FAQ question. Okay, FAQ that open, open. Uh, let's see. So it has this open. First of all, in index it has the FAQ. Way too much styling. Margin. We don't want this. Let's see. FAQ page, we don't want that in FJS, let's simplify this a little bit, so where's this return, header, we don't want this header, I can delete this header, delete, okay, header, let's, uh, where's the importing, you should change the value on key, dude, the key should not be index value, I mean it's working, what do you mean? Uh, so FAQ, let me delete, uh, what else? So install CSS, we have body, sun save, background. Now let's leave it that. Save, header, display, flex, align, center, yeah. Header, then FAQ, so width, margin padding, it looks good. Margin padding, background, border, box shadow, position. Uh, relative transition content FAQs FAQ after yeah so they're displaying these buttons like uh, weirdly like with CSS content plus absolute translate Y uh, they're doing it yeah I mean I'll do it with translation as well with FAQs According to React, documentation value of key should not be indexed. This is not a good uh, practice. FAQ. <coughs> so where am I mapping to them? Key. FAQ. ID equals key, key equals key. No, I had the key, not the index. And that one is different. I don't think it's the real index. Let me check. Uh, content. Yeah, they are displaying this with CSS. Uh, max height, okay. 
So that is playing these icons with CSS and it's, it's not a good uh, practice to do. Okay, margin bottom. Transition, yeah, I want to do transition and have overflow hidden. Yeah, I mean. Uh, transition, absolute as well. Position relative. I want inside that app.js right here. No, it's an FAQ. I want this div FAQ that question and then have the plus. So let's see how we do this. Um, position relative. Okay, well, have all these positions. Padding right, font size. Can I move this right here? Show all up, all open editors. Nope, nope. Embed. I have no idea. It's just very annoying. Let me go back tests what is this let me close this up and open it again mm -hmm. Let's see. okay so we'll see how we substitute that CSS because we don't want that and no the key should not be the index the key should be the key because you have like a, um, have a key value as well when you map through things. Mm. I don't want this plus right here. Where is it? The plus and the minus. I want it based on where's the FAQ. I want it based on the open. Do I have the open right here? FAQ dot open. Okay. So I don't really care if it's plus or minus. I'll uh, I'll change that later. But I'll say here that I want a plus. I want like an X, something like this, an X instead of this plus. So. X on this question and save and these two should be flex as well I, I don't I don't care so when you click on this X actually I just delete them so I'll delete this where is it I'll delete this save if I go to the style CSS where's the plus minus I don't want this I don't want to see you and under I don't want to see you neither save so this one should work still yeah like this and where's the part that uh, gives me trouble let's see so FAQ so now if I you delete this open FAQ that open class name FAQ yeah FAQ looks good and FAQ that open let's see FAQ that open true no it was true or false or what is it in FAQ app.js let's see did use material right now I think key value should be unique yes of course uh, where is it so the state can be they're storing uh, she's storing the FAQs as a um, as state that's interesting okay and the value of this where is it open 
open true and false yeah so they have true and false true and false so now on style it's true let's see if we have a uh, faq that open oh no the faq that open is a class it's not true or false so if you go in faq faq that open it's a class it's not true or false okay faq that open Uh, no, it's not. So FAQ not open. Oh no, if FAQ that open is true, I want open. Otherwise, I want nothing. So let's see. Open. It's a conditional. Um, yeah. So open. Let's see where the open is. Open. Open. I think I closed it. I think I deleted that. Header, we don't want the header. Let me delete this one as well. And FAQ, we can delete the FGS. FGS, let's see this header as well. And this one. Okay, save. Have I. Don't refresh, please the code, don't refresh. I think it's refreshing. For sure it's refreshing. Huh? No, it's not refreshing, perfect. So index.js, app.js looks good. Yeah, so let's take a look uh, again at these index.css. Because transform, uppercase, I don't care about all these. I care about when you click on it let's see FAQs open okay so this will open so let's uh, find the open control F open open one of two one and two FAQ that open pasty and margin bottom what is this all about So you don't need this max height 1000 pixels do you need this yeah you do i think it's because this one or past the one is because of past the one okay so faqs let's see if we need this <laughs> i think i'll do it this way faster opacity zero yeah overflow hidden transition oh yeah so this one is the transition and then absolute what is this all about let's see what we break here okay it looks good now i think i can delete this one as well let's see save yeah i want on only the good css Okay, only the important CSS. Yeah, so uh, margin 15, margin padding, background, border radius, box shadow as well. Okay, I guess we'll leave them. So. Yeah, we'll leave them. Background, okay, yeah, we'll leave these. So FAQs as well, let's see. Yeah, see, no need for that. We'll do the um, animations by ourselves. Okay, body. I mean, this one can work. Okay, so this is all the um, CSS, the important CSS. So FAQs, margin, margin opacity, zero. I, I guess it's just the max height, this max height. Where's the max height by default? Max height margin max height okay so these two uh, are very important max height zero max height 1000 this is how they do the animation okay overflow hidden max height zero yeah so it's uh and opacity is not really important you can just delete this opacity opacity zero See, makes no uh, sense. 
Uh, max height overflow hidden. I'm not sure if you need this. Yeah, you, you do. Overflow hidden. Yeah. Transition, yes. Max height opacity 1. See opacity 1. What is this all about? Okay. Box shadow. No, thank you. Uh, background, I guess. Border radius, yeah. I mean, I want to make this as simple as possible. Okay, padding is fine. Text transform uppercase, we don't need this. Okay, font weight, font size. I mean, this is basic. Font family sans serif, okay. So, this is only the important CSS right here. So, FAQs, FAQ, FAQs, FAQ, FAQ answers. So are they FAQs, FAQ, FAQs, FAQ. So all have this FAQ class in common. Okay, now this FAQ only these two have, have it in common, okay. Margin 15 pixels, why do you even... Hmm? I guess it's kind of important. I see margin. Let me change the song. Uh, boom. Hi, bro. Hello, mojitos. Up. Uh, max height, overflow, transition is fine. So, margin 15 pixels. What's about this? Then padding 15 pixels. I mean, this one should still work. Yeah, it's still working. And background FF, I mean, now it still should work. Yeah, so it's working, but <laughs> a little bit different. Yeah, okay, so this one is not important, neither. Save, this one is not important, neither. Now I have two of these, so basically this one uh, says that by default should be uh, hidden. Hi chat, hello, hello. Save. Margin 15, okay. So these two are not important either. So hidden transition transition that is the transition. We don't need this. Yes, perfect. And max height. Yeah, so there are only three lines of CSS important in this thing. <laughs> and we have to do like so much thing. Okay, so only three lines of CSS are important. Uh okay. FAQ, FAQ open. So it's normal FAQ should be like this, okay. So this one is not important. FAQ answer and FAQ answer. Bam, bam. FAQ that open. What does this have? Uh, max height. Max height zero. Okay. And why is this one persisting? Is it the order or what? Cannot be the order. No. Um, max height zero, overflow hidden. Max height 1000 pixels. So if you go to app.js, if you go to app.js and FAQ, FAQ.open is true, then we want this to be open. FAQ that opens, so if it's true, we want the class true. So the class true. Oh, so FAQ and then open. But we don't have like a, only an open one. It's FAQ that open, I guess. Hmm. Uh, FAQ question, FAQ question. Why is this plus this uh, with an uh, with an dot between? You see this? It's FAQ. FAQ dot open. Or uh, 
Ah, ok. Ah, ok, ok, ok. FAQ dat o pun eu. Mm -hmm. So when it's open, we want this. And normally we want this, ok? Workflow hidden, yeah, it's pretty simple. And in FAQ, let's see. Hi, who is mob? Hello, Teo, hello. Hello, everyone. And styles as CSS, ok, so FAQ. Let's start implementing this as well, guys. So I have the question and the answer right here. This is basically CSS, not important. Okay, and style that is uh, in uh, FJS. And here, let's take this again. Let's take a look at this again. So FAQ said FAQ. This one is the state true or false. And the questions. And here we are taking the index where we are clicking on it. So where we are clicking on it? Let's see. FAQ is that map. Uh, FAQ is the map. Toggle FAQ. Where's the toggle inside here? Toggle, toggle, toggle. Oh, on this developer, yeah. On click, toggle FAQ, FAQ index, and then it's going to the actual function in FGS, in uh, FGS, yes, and it has an index, this index, this index from here, and it goes in uh, FGS, and it says that toggle that FAQ with this index, and it's comparing. Let's see, set FAQ. Set FAQs, okay. Map. Oh, and they are setting every single one. So it takes the first one is changing it, the second one is changing it, the third one is changing it once. This is the logic. So FAQs that map um, and FAQ. So one at a time. It takes one at a time and the Y, and it takes every single object right here. And if the Y equals with the index so why it's the index okay okay faq dot open faq dot open so the open goes to the, to uh, the opposite and otherwise it should stay to false okay yeah we found we found pretty simple so let's try this uh, ourselves So here we'll only need a uh, key, yes I guess we need the key question open, we don't need it. Uh, I do know. Here's this. Let me make this smaller as well. Okay. And for example, in hero that JS, it's app that JS in their case, and they have here at the top they have a open true or false as well. Open. There's definitely a way to do it without this open. I just I'm not sure how to do it yet. So open should be common work. Open should be false by default on everything. So I'll copy this. Copy and I'll add it here as well. What the time? Okay. I'll add it here as well. Bam. Bam. So now we have this open, so we'll have to pass as a, where's it? First let's create this function as well, so where's this function? We've done it, uh, return, handle state. Yeah, so let me delete this one. We don't need this E neither. And let's create this function here at the top. We'll have a uh, const toggle equals 
toggle equals with uh, it's an arrow function with index inside with an index that requires an index you know so when you when you trigger this function it needs an index and inside we'll set the FAQ so what what's our state called so const FAQ this is an uh, there uh, she's uh, using the whole array as a state okay so let's use the state as well so FAQ FAQ and set FAQ FAQ equals use state so use state and should be equal with this thing and save have we imported state yes and we go to localhost as well Open false, okay. What's the problem? Console dot log hi open false 36. What's up here? Let's see. Open state, uh, you state one, two, three, four, five. Save. Okay, so yeah, we had that comma. Return and on the return we can see, for example, hi, just so we can see. So this one is, or it's not. FAQ. Let me restart the server as well. Maybe it's a bug. NPM run uh, start NPM PM NPM NPM uh, start Okay Let's refresh this This I cannot be reached Hello, hello guys, welcome to the chat, to the stream. Close this and this. Okay, so. Let me copy this, say hi. Why is this not working? <laughs> Hero, control V. Control B, in AppJS, let's see. Are we not importing this? <laughs> Why is this not working? Control B. We only have this div with FAQ. Oh no, we, we do have all these things. Uh, H1. BY search. Wait a little bit, let's see. If I delete this. Flex paying top max width. Is the text white or what? Let's see text text black <laughs> what how is this paragraph not working FAQ text black let me delete everything let's see let's save what? Okay, I think now it's actually a bug. Let's see. Save. No, so it's because of these things right here. Let's see. FAQ set FAQ equals U state. 
This is because of this free state now. Is an array. Why do it, does it have this and this? And you don't need this? I think it was because of this thing. Yeah, it was because of this thing. Let's uh, control set a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Toggle, okay, save this, and yeah, we can delete this and this. My bad, guys. And here you need uh, curly braces and curly braces at the end as well. So, right here, save, have the high right now, perfect. Um, but why, okay, now if I say hi, I should see it. I cannot see it. Let me see. High toggle index save. Okay, yeah, so it's because of this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Save. So I have all these things. If I copy them, save. Should get five of these. FAQ that map. So we have to say FAQ dot map and for each FAQ for each FAQ no FAQ dot map and for each FAQ you want an FAQ okay any how is uh, how is she mapping to this FAQs that map do we need a return return FAQ return FAQ uh, T, hello Avina, hello Raktam, hello Cubing, what's up guys? FAQ that map for each FAQ we want return return FAQ uh, FAQ that map Am I missing something? Like this and delete these. Let's check it out. Sixty one. One to okay, I need one more. No. Where's this one ending? Bam. Bam. <laughs> Let me see. So it's one div, this one. Return this. Bam. So we need one this and one this. Okay, finally. Return this and let's see what we have here. FAQ index key value. What's up? What's out here? Return. <laughs> Doing the uh, div as well. Let's see. That map, bam, 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 bam. No, return, return this thing. Okay, what? How is the map function not working? Let me control Z. 
pack. How is the map function not working? I must have missed something. Save. Okay. And for FAQ.map is a different name, FAQ.map. Oh, uh, is it because in AppJS, uh, yeah. <laughs> in, uh, if you go AppJS hero, if you go to the FAQ, we have question answer open ID and question, it's FAQ.question. And now it's FAQ. Uh, it's FAQ, or is it? So FAQ, FAQ save, it's in first. So here you have FAQ, the object, and then FAQ.question, which is FAQ.question, answer, FAQ.answer. No, this is not the problem. <laughs> Where is the problem? The map has nothing to do with it. I think it's from here. Let's see. Uh, FAQ from slash FAQ. Where is this problem from? Refresh. So if I refresh, it's working. What? Oh, I guess it was from the. I guess it is from the. Yeah, it is from this uh, map method. So if I say hi, for example, if I refresh, FAQ that map is not a function. It's FAQ that Y or what? FAQ, FAQ, index, index. No. Oh my god. Const. Const uh, goals equals. Equals with an array of objects. So I'll have name. Okay, and have an age as well, so age. Let me check if this works with a different one. Goals, okay. Set goals. Uh, equals you state, so you state. And this one should be like this. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Oh, a lot of people coming. Hello, guys. Cubing, Rakim, Ania, Luca, T. Hello. Faku is an object. You need an array. Yep. Yep. You need an array. FAQ is an object. What? If I choose that map, is it because I had the same name here? No. So const goals set goals you state. Three, what? That's why it was not working. I miss. I forgot to add this thing right here. Oh my god! There's no way.
hi if I say hi yeah finally imagine you two stays yeah I missed the I missed the column yeah <laughs> that's annoying that's that's a lot of time spent on this thing it's so, okay okay so finally we'll have uh, an FAQ right here so FAQ save and we have something with uh, a plus button as well cool so um, let's see what we have here so we have open false as well cool and then for each FAQ first let's uh, finish with this um, function right here so we have toggle with an index uh, and for each index for each uh, thing of this we'll have a uh, set FA, uh, FAQ how did you name this FAQ set FAQ we we'll set the FAQ when uh, when this function is triggered we'll uh, redo all the FAQs and we'll have here like this and we'll set them first of all we'll say uh, FAQ.map so FAQ.map will look through all the FAQs inside uh, inside uh, I mean there's already one here faq.map and for each faq so for each faq we want okay where's them okay uh, and here we want to check for each one we want to check if the y okay so we need to add a y as well the index the index of each one so this y or right here it's the index of this uh, object of this object of this object okay so it's different and this one is the index of the one that we click on so now we'll check if y equals if y equals with the index right here we want the faq that open so this one open this property right here to be rewritten so open that open equals with the opposite of FAQ FAQ dot open just like this oh yeah and otherwise FAQ open else so else FAQ dot open magic things happen here <laughs> Uh, FAQ that open and we'll check if it that otherwise it will be open or it will be false so if the index does not match with the uh, FASQ if the index does not match with this Y we want to um, set it to false so save this now I have this function done let's go back to the FAQ right here so we have uh, that map FAQ index so I guess you can use the index as well instead of this E it should be the same so index we'll try with the key after if it works as well so we'll have the FAQ in index uh, and in the FAQ we'll have the the whole object but I want to do the only the question where is it I want to do only the question and the answer I don't want the whole object so here I can say question equals with uh, equals with FAQ dot question and then we'll have the answer the hello Java hello Srina Dierbeck what's up guys welcome to stream Okay, so here we have after this one we have the answer as well equal with FAQ that answer and save and what else do we need we need the index so this one so I'll say index index equals with the index 
so each object will have an index as well and the key should be equal with the key so key equals now I'll have a key right here and key equals with the key instead of the index and we need to pass the function as well right yeah let's see. and the uh, the function as well so let's pass the this function that we've created the toggle one and we'll say that toggle equals with toggle that's it t what are you building we're building this uh, accordion i'll show you in a minute uh, save this Oops. FAQ no app.js hero save all this so we are pretty much done with the uh, hero so with app.js now let's go inside the FAQ and let's take this out so all these props we don't need the uh, these let's go to FAQ right here and we'll have FAQ index so we'll have the index as well because we've passed the index and we'll have the uh, function as well it, which is was toggle like this so toggle index uh, and question and answer so we have question answer save question answer uh, index so you want the on click as well So on this div, where is it? A question, and where's the answer? Answer it's right here. So we were doing it like this, we'll change this and we'll do it with CSS, okay? I mean, you can do it uh, this way as well. So if you want to do it like this, let's try to do it like this. Um, open an ID, but you have to go inside the class name, so you cannot do it uh, outside. If you want to do it with this one, class name. No, go back a little bit. Class name, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so we want to target this div right here at the top. So we'll say on click, on click, on click like this, and we want an arrow function with the toggle function so toggle toggle and inside let's take the index of this div right here so I'll compare this index of this div with the index of where is it uh, where's the tongue okay so we'll compare this index from the from that one with the FAQ and the y, with the y FAQ that we have so we'll compare it to the index of this uh, object Where is it? Toggle. Okay, so toggle index save. Let's take a look at this. E is not defined. Where do we have E? Control F E. Okay, we'll add the key as well, so inside the hero we'll need the key as well. I mean, we have one. Uh, FAQ.map. Oh yeah, here you need the key as well, but we'll fix that. Okay, it's not defined. FAQ.js. Where do we have any? Oh, this one. Let's refresh. Um, okay, go to the inner boundary. Let's see, so we have this bam bam on click. Where is it on click? Toggle of index. So the index. Mm -hmm. Why did she add a key here? Don't really need it. read property on undefined question of undefined question right 
have we not a uh, hero undefined question question it's FAQ dot question answer it's FAQ dot answer cannot read properties of one side reading question hero js line 70 question Call it FAQ not question. What do you mean? How is this not defined? Oh we don't have a key prop, let's see. So development JS inside of hero where we have FAQ.map yeah, why do we have this div right here? This one was the problem. So now if you refresh, we'll have a key as well. Hmm? With the same key object, object, object. If I set it to index. Save. Reading question, okay, hero j66. Fake that map. <laughs> what? You can definitely read this question because uh, it's displayed right here. Sorry, so. If I said ZZZ, Z, Z, yes, it's different, let's see. Save and refresh. Save. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can read the questions as well. The problem. Let's see where the there's a problem with the logic. So we have uh, FAQ dot index toggle. This should not work. Uh, but each um, our app should not work right now because we don't have the CSS but uh, we should not get uh, errors let's see why we get errors so inside uh, app.js let's go to app.js and inside app.js at the top where is it app.js hero navbar you go to hero your videos are good thank you Uh, so here in the hero index visit first of all let's take a, a look at the state so we have open question answer open FAQ set FAQ then let's take a look at this one so const uh, toggle we have the index set FAQ as well uh, FAQ dot map and then FAQ and Y as well FAQ and Y, then if Y equals with the index, right? Yeah, and FAQ dot open equals with the opposite, uh, will be equal with the opposite of FAQ dot open, yes. And if it's already open and we click again, we want this to be false, yeah. Then close this one. Why do we have so many? Um, oh, you want to return the FAQ, that's why it's not working, because this function was not returning anything. So after the FAQ is done, you want to return FAQ, save, return FAQ, yep. <laughs> yep. Let's go back, and our app should not work right now, but uh, we should not get uh, all these errors anymore yeah so perfect we don't get it, these errors now let's work with the css so we make this uh, appear and disappear as well so if you go where is it app.js hero and if you go inside faq we can use this uh, she did it a different way we can either do it like her or a uh, different let me show you so index FAQ right here, she made it with this FAQ, if FAQ is true, if FAQ.open is true, 
so we can import the open as well where is it open so uh, answer we have open as well equals with with FAQ so FAQ dot open just so it's cleaner you know so when you go here you can use the open right here so now uh, if you go inside the CSS where's the answer so here this one answer we can make this we can make it like this and like this again I, I still don't know how they uh, are called but if can someone tell if someone can tell me I'll use the the name of this thing what's up in my keyboard Okay, so save it like this. We've missed something. Let's see. We're not closing this paragraph. That's why. Go a little bit behind. Yeah, so not here. Here. Save this. And here we can display this conditionally. Like this. So here we can delete this. And we can add uh, a saying. So for example, by default, this one should be scale zero or translate zero. So let's show, uh, let's try with scale uh, zero at first, scale zero. And if you take a look at our example, you don't see this anymore. So I'll go with hidden at first. I'll go with hidden, so hidden like that and if open is true so if open is true open is true where is it open then I want this to be uh, flex then I don't want or I don't want to show anything so now is flex not working or what if I uh, copy this, let's uh, check if this is working. So if I say flex here after this, yeah, so flex is not working after this. We'll have to go with open flex. If open is flex, we want <coughs> scale zero or scale 100. Scale 100. Uh, where's don't click? Where's don't click? On click on click FAQ Toggle index So now I have on click where's don't click Toggle FAQ Toggle of index okay On click we have it on click Scale zero open is true. Okay. What is this? Paragraph. Oh, it's because it's a paragraph. Maybe because it's a paragraph, it's not working. Save. Text gray. Okay. Padding top. I want to copy this. Uh, I want to copy this class name and paste it here. Let's see. So text gray. Padding top two. I mean these two can be here so class name text and padding top as well scale zero okay so this one let's check this out let's refresh scale zero scale full let's see oh it's scale and let me spell this as well and this one should be full as well so scale full so two mistakes Fresh scale zero uh, and open. What's up with this? Scale zero and then scale full. I don't think there's a scale full. Let's see. Uh, tailwind scale full. Might not be a scale full. Yeah, it's scale 100. So scale 100. 
save. Okay, so now it's working, finally. And you see this? You don't have to um, unclick on something. Because, if you go, where is it? Where is this function? Uh, if I OK, FAQ that OK. So it's true by default, then when you click on something else. Yeah, so uh, if you if you are wondering why when you click on something else this one is closing by default, is it because when you click on something, it takes all these objects right here and it's re-rendering the, the value of this open uh, value. So for example, if this one is, uh, if this one is true, and this one is the first one, so it's this question. And if you click on, for example, on the second one, it's taking again uh, all the objects and it's taking this logic with every single object. If you did not click, if you did not click on this object, I think there's a earthquake. It was a small earthquake and it's still going. Ooh, that was trippy. There was actually a, an earthquake <laughs> in Romania. Okay, so uh, it's because it's because when you click on something else, it's re-rendering the um, the all these objects, and if the index does not match with this one, it's uh, just closing everything. So do you see this? If the index is not equal with the Y, uh, it will re-render. It will make this false, okay? So it will leave, it will re render every single object and it will leave open only one at a time. So this is the logic behind this toggle function. It uh, only one thing at a time can be open in this uh, in this way. If you want more, more, uh, more questions at a time to be open, you can go ahead and set state for every, sing every single um, question inside here, inside the object, and it will work like that. So yeah, let's uh, let's actually make this work now. You are Romanian? Yes, I'm Romanian. So let's uh, change this uh, scale to um, transform as well. So let's change, where is it, uh, on click, scale, yeah, so we want to translate this uh, on the Y axis and make it overflow hidden. So for example, I'll make this translate, Bine. Uh, come on, don't, don't act like you did not know I'm Romanian from my accent. Uh, translate, no, what is that? Uh, translate. I look for what? Uh, um, transform. So, by the way, this is a different approach. It's like rendering everything. But I guess if you want this, I mean, if you want to do this different, I think. I was thinking about it, uh, a solution to do it without this open function. <laughs> he said, I, I, uh, I had no idea you're Romanian. Where are you from, uh, Darian? Or where did I think uh, I was from? Is my accent Russian or what? Or what uh, accent do I have? So transform, okay. Transform. Transform tailwind. 
Tailwind, okay. No. Translate. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Translate to full. <coughs> so I can see, for example, translate 80, for example, here, translate. Translate 80. Let's see where this goes. The hello power of WhatsApp. Save this. Translate 80. If I go uh, negative 80. Is this working? Translate. I don't think it's working. Oh, translate on the Y. So, translate to Y. Yeah, translate to Y. Okay. I mean, this should work. Uh, why is this not working with the... Uh, no, no, no. I don't know how to do that way. So, I'll make it... Everything, so... Have this paragraph as well. Translate in the Y. Okay. We want everything to be overflow hidden. So over. Nor uh, I thought you are from Norway or uh, Holland. Okay. Overflow hidden. Overflow hidden. I mean, we have to give this uh, a width and a height as well. So let's see. Overflow. Overflow hidden. The overflow hidden is not working right here because you don't have a, a width and a height. So we'll give. How should we go about this? Should we add the height on this one? She's adding uh, 1000 pixels, where is it? She's doing this by adding uh, 1000 max height 1000 pixels and here max height uh, 0. I mean, we can say max height 0. Seems pretty simple. Max height should be 0. And if not, max height should be full max height full yeah and we need overflow hidden as well overflow okay t hello qwerty yellow bomb hello what's up and here we can give this a um, duration 100 and uh, after the duration we can give this a is oh my god my keyboard and we can do if this one is out as well check this out good job yeah uh, good job was what's her name Let's let's think. What's her name? <coughs> this one. I saw her picture somewhere around here. Dun, dun. I'm not sure. She had a name, by the way. Uh, sandbox anonymous. Anonymous. It was a picture of a girl somewhere around here. Anyway. So 1000, let's go back. Mm. So this one has uh, does not have like max height, where is it? We, we don't want uh, to make this necessarily with... Um, with, uh, where is it, hero. False true, yeah, false. 
Load this. Good job. Typo duration. Oh yeah, really? Duration. Oh, cool. Duration is our duration. Uh, is out as well. I think it's just because we have. Where is it? PG full. Where's the um, max height zero? Duration two hundred is out. Let me see. The duration is definitely working, the ease out uh, is not working. And if I delete this, let's see. If I go, if, if I go 500. I don't think this is working because we have uh, something sudden, you know, so we'll have to use transform translate on this thing. So where is it? Max height, okay, is in and we'll use transform as well. So max height, what is this is she use? Let me go to her origin. What university uh, are you stu studying at? Uh, UTM. Bucharest. Bucharest. Where are you from, Darian? Which city in Romania? Let me open this again to see the, um, the master in action. Ooh, snap, we noticed that Sandbox didn't complete its last round. This could be because of some code crash or report. So, header, CSS. Okay, so this one. She used, where's this? Uh, has transition all, translate Y as well. Yeah, so she has, but where's the. Um, where's the height zero? She had height zero as well, max width, okay. Hidden overflow hidden uh, all is okay margin 1000 she had transition she had a, a transition no transition she had um let's translate so she had translate and can this work with translate end I've never used translate and um, max height zero in the same time. Let's see if this works. Because then it would be the same thing with uh, hidden and flex. So max height zero and translate on the x on the x ten. On the y duration is in. Oh yeah, so we have to edit right here in the yeah. So we've added duration uh, by default, but we want to add duration uh, when this max height is full. So if you save now, let's see. Uh, is in duration max width might max height full. So it's height zero and then full duration five hundred is in. So now we should work with uh, translate y. We don't want this. Actually, we do, and I'll delete this. No, actually, I'll leave this. So translate zero. Let's check if this works like this. Oh yeah, so it's working with both of them. So that's cool. That's cool. So overflow hidden. Bam bam, nice. So height full, I'll go height. Hmm. 
translate negative 10 so i'll go negative 10 save so this one should be on top where is this uh is there a free this one should have a bg white as well bg bg white and this one should be on top and let me read the comments as well okay wrists are okay cool uh good job robert uh keep it going i have a, a relative co called robert and i always think uh, you are that person um okay let me check something Jakub, cool. hello, what's up? Welcome to stream. Uh, so yeah, this one should uh, should show on top. So this one should be where is it? Uh, I say it's, uh, relative. I'll make this relative and Z index of ten as well. So it shows uh, on top of this, <laughs> like this. But um, this BG should be white. So I'll say BG white, BG white. And no, 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 no. Hmm. I can move this outside. What happens if I move it outside and add a different div? And create a different div. Let me change this clown music. Discover something. Let me make essentials. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Pardon. So now let's go back. Go back one more time. Save. Translate to a zero. No. Ten. Twenty. I'll go with ten. <laughs> Minus ten, and I I'm adding plus ten. Overflow hidden max height. Yeah, so I'll make this uh, hidden and I'll make this flex. Hidden flex. Hidden flex does not work. Scale 0 and scale 100 works. <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's annoying. <sighs> if I go with inline flex, maybe? Let's see, hidden. Oh, no, I can just say... Um, I can just say... Okay, otherwise... So, if open is true, I want this. Otherwise, I want hidden. So, I want hidden. Come on, this this should work now. Hidden, but I don't think we'll have the. Yeah, we're not gonna have the. Um, what do you call this? We're not gonna have the transition. So if I give tra uh, uh, translate y minus ten as well, and add it here, like twenty. I don't know. Uh, 
uh, 10 maybe so since it's flex and hidden it, uh, this gun it's sudden you know so it's not gonna work so I'll have to delete this hidden and this flex and use only translate so save see this but now I want to see that everything outside this D hello hello so I want to see that everything outside this should be hidden or I can just add some more I can just say height full here mm. Here I can have uh, it normally, like only flex and yeah. So I'll have it here. I have hidden and flex, and that's it. So here I have hidden and flex. So hidden, because we want that um, hidden and flex. Flex. So now it's only showing and uh, disappearing, but they should be hidden by default. So they should be hidden. Copy this. This one should be here. And this one should be here. Okay. Save. Okay, so it's working like this, but now <coughs> we'll add uh, this right here, so we'll have a different div. Here comes the magic, so we'll have a different div, and I'll have the same logic behind it. Okay, I'll have a different logic behind it, and I'll say uh, if it's open, I want to translate this so. And then I still have to give it a width, right? And a height. Height full width full. Let's see, let's see. So I'll have this one should be translate. Translate twenty. Translate minus 20 translate on the y still want uh, we're gonna get to the same problem so I want it where is it I know how to do this so uh, you'll want to make this you'll want to give this a uh, height and a width so you want to give this a height first of all this one typo what typo translate no it will it will work, uh, not work anyway so uh, translate y20 yeah sorry I have a, a new keyboard and it's uh, like very wiggly as well because I have it uh, only two of its legs it's, uh, <laughs> it's it's touching the ground so it's it's really moving you know when you have a bad uh, leg on a chair it's the same thing uh, translate translate Y and I say duration 200 even if it works uh, we'll still have to give it a width and a height because we'll have to set overflow somewhere and overflow needs a height so uh, now for example if you have translate 10 let's go with 10 0 0 ok Okay, see this. So now we have to give this a uh, 
height and an overflow zero overflow hidden as well so i guess we'll have we'll still need a different div i'll clean this up because we can move this here as well but uh, let me finish this first and i'll move the scissors we only need two divs translate here yeah. a lot of typos uh, class name here okay so class name here we'll have to give it a height I'll say height height should be full does not work full and overflow hidden oh actually it does okay so height full does work So we want the same duration, 200 and is out, so is out, duration 200 is out, flex hidden is because of this flex hidden. see this if I go with um, max with full max with zero oh max height my man height and height Max height full, yeah. So first of all, let me uh, translate this here. Let me move this here. And this one, the second one, I'll move it here. And we can get rid of these. But do you see this? When you click uh, outside, it's really sudden. The hello Gizawen. Hello, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's uh, because of this max height with full, right? So if I delete this, let's see. Save. Now uh, this will do like this. So we want to scale on the Y, translate on the Y. <coughs> let's see. Height full overflow hidden. Yeah, height full. Now the height is full all the time. I can solve this by giving this a height, you know? By giving this a height. This will be a very simple to solve if I give this a height. But I tried all this time to not give this a height, but we'll do it. So height should be, if I give this a height of uh, 7 RAM, for example, and overflow. Hidden and save. And go actually with 4. Does she have like a different, where is it? Uh, refresh. Ah, I mean, on her side, it's still, uh, it's still not, um, how do you say this? 
I mean, is it? Uh, kind of. To transform, I don't know how she manages to use transform and scale and the uh, max height, max width zero. Oh, I think she gives a duration to the. Yeah, she does it like this. She gives it a, du a duration. If I go up on Chef Z, let me go back a little bit. So when we have two of these height, height, save. She does it in two ways. I, I guess in two, two times. You know, so bam, bam. I think she gives a duration to this uh, max height. So if I give a duration of 300, no, the duration does not work. Duration 300. A transition. Yeah, she has a transition time, see? <laughs> she has a transition time, but uh, when I add a transition time, transition duration 300 milliseconds and max uh, height full, see? Height full. Let me copy this duration. I mean, I've already added it. Oh no, here I have to edit as well. Let's check. When it's zero, do we have a duration? Okay, so I think it's working now. Perfect. 100 and 100. Yeah, but I don't want 100, I want like 50 or 20, 50. Say 50 milliseconds, I think it's milliseconds, MS. If I say zero, If I say 20, because she has 20. <laughs> I think we've kind of uh, nailed it, let's see. No, we did not. Because she has uh, is, is out as well. So she has duration and is out. Is in is let me look at tailwind um is out tailwind so it's uh, is in is out is in out is in out So is it not here, is it not, and here is it not as well. One sword, is this one, yeah, save. We go with 100 milliseconds as well. Or is it very slow, let's see. See if it differs. Looks like a different tempo. Let's see. So transition is in out. Overflow hidden transition. Two seconds is translate absolute.
Yeah. So it has difference. Uh, here it has 20 and here it has 40. So on FAQ question, FAQ question, answer. Question, why does it have a element question? Why does it have something on question? FAQ question, let's see, FAQ question. FAQ question, why does it have uh, something here? I'm not sure. Oh, so you need on this one as well? What? <laughs> what? FAQ question, let's see. Transition 0 0.4, transition 0 0.2, after. Okay, let's add an after as well. So, after, the wind after. Delicious content after Let's continue. So uh, we had what was the problem? Oh, after yeah. Let's have an after. Okay, before this. So I'll have an after here as well. On this uh, paragraph. On this one or this one, let's see. After with 30 pixels. Hello Nios, what's up? Okay, so uh, after uh, FAQ question after, how does it work? No. Um, FAQ question font size, uh, you'll have a width and a height of 30 pixels. 
Okay. <laughs> so now we have, let's see, height zero, height full. Let's have them before or after. After, I'll say after. After I want. After this, I want a max height. Max height of fifteen pixels. If I go 100 here, and 200 here, but if I go 50, so 50 milliseconds. Max height 15 pixels. Okay. Duration. No, here I, th I think I have to. So let's leave it 200 here. And here on the on this one before max after. Oh yeah. Do you see this? Do you see this now? If I go 15 pixels, if I go 25, let's see. So it has time to end. Nice. If I go 50 pixels. So now it has time to finish duration. If I go 0. If I, oh shoot. If I delete this one, save. Still has time. If I did this one as well. Yeah, now it's not uh, that smooth. Right. Let me check. So 500. <laughs> this doesn't do anything. This is not doing anything. 500 milliseconds, let's see. Okay, so this one does something. 200. I think 300 is the best. Let's check hers as well. And let's uh, have uh, some uh, background color as well, so it's looking better if I go to hero. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The background uh, in AppJS. I say BG. BG should be hashtag FFFF. Let me change this. Something like yellowish.
FAQ. Navjs, let me add uh, a div like this. The height of screen. So I have this. Old, old, old. I okay. What do you mean? Let me check Brazil. I'm really curious. What if did? I think it's over. Brazil, Croatia. There's no way. There's no way. No. I refuse to believe. No. <laughs> There's no way. Brazil lost. What? <laughs> uh, comments, no. Formation, stats. Oh my god, there, there was a, a goal in 105 and then they've uh, equalized in the um, extra time. There's no way. There's no way. Rodrigo. Casimiro, Pedro. Ooh, they all scored. And then Marquinhos. Oh my god. Huh. In this life. Uh, I'll go to Hopin Barzava. What's that? Barzava? What's that? I have no idea what that is. Hero FAQs. So here I'll go with uh, 200. Don't know which one. Eight hundred. Okay, so it does something. Is out only. Let's see. Hmm. Translate to a duration, <clears throat> and if I change these two, let's see. If I change, for example, if I change this class name, copy with this class name, and I move this one and paste it here, let's see if the, uh, we have a difference. And if I uh, go here with 200 only. Yeah, yeah, 100, 200 maybe. The hello drunk, hello what's up, welcome to the stream.
cannot believe Brazil lost. And he's out, he's in, okay. I still think I can do this um, better because if I if I set this height, if I set a height to this one, if I, for example, if I say height should be no, if I uh, set the height, yes, yeah, so height should be only the question. So I don't like two rem, two rem like this, and item center. justify center like this let's see um items center justify oh flex 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 column um and Item center, yeah, like that. Let's see. no, no. Justify center height to ram. Where did not um. Height full. Flex. Items center. Justify center. Copy this, paste it here. Paste it here as well. What? Let's inspect this, let's see why uh, why this is not centered. Inspect. Set index of 10. Okay, heightful. Is this not heightful? Height rem, heightful. Overflow hidden, or is it? Okay. Okay, height full, let's see with height full. High to rem, and then when it's uh, open is true. So open is true, let's see, open true. I want the height to be full, because if I say height full. Yeah, so let me see, like this. And close this and this and this. No, not here. Copy. Like that. And paste it here. Like this. 
uh, now you can see for example if active active if open is true so open is true then we want the height to be full otherwise we want nothing <coughs> Headful. Save. And I want here the same thing, so I'll copy this. Like that, I'll have a uh, height full or overflow hidden should be here. Height full. Height full or height uh, zero or hidden. It's instant now. Hello, hello, life as software engineer, what's up? Welcome to stream. Oh, it's uh, 4 hours and 20 minutes, guys. Uh, we're kind of done for tonight, okay? So let me paste this uh, post this on GitHub, GitHub, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So uh, repositories, change this one as well. Okay, it will be a uh, drop down. So FAQs, get in it, get at all. well and let's wait for this and we'll be done oh Florin what's up for the new chat GPT is only good for helping us uh, do write better code it can replace us for the moment it cannot replace us for the moment <laughs> for the moment Florin yeah Dogan Teki hello is it is it that big of a deal, Florin? Because when I look at it, uh, I I saw like uh, every single YouTuber uh, has done a video on it, but I did not see it like uh, such a big thing as they said it, as they made it look like. Or do you think it's gonna get better and better uh, exponentially? 
because they were writing like only uh, HTML good and a little bit of CSS. Appreciate, yeah, yeah, no problem, Toban. Uh, hurry up before GPT comes. And they did like basic stuff with it, you know, so. GPT, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> How much time do you give it? I give it like um I'll give it like five years, maybe. Okay, refresh. I mean, for sure, uh, if it's an AI, it gets better exponentially, you know, so. Yeah. I see like five years. Have you seen like, um, I don't know if you played the. Uh, do you also work with if you. No. No. Say, so, yeah, if you want the code, let me paste this in the chat as well. Save. Okay. We'll say like f five more mains in the uh, I'll end the stream, guys. questions any comments let me know now because I'll end this live stream in a couple of minutes okay It will be like uh, a stack overflow, but uh, you will not waste time for finding similar problems like yours. Instead, it will give you the solution fast.
T, hello Tamara, hello Steven, what's up guys? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'll end this in like one minute. Uh, let me know if you guys have any comments left. Because, yeah, I'm done. Today. Yeah, so thank you guys. See you tomorrow at the same time. Where's my phone? Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.